Hey everybody, um, so this is the second episode of the day, and it is season two, episode four, part three, Tower of Grey. Um, I'm going to do a countdown, and then I'm going to do a rant. Three, two, one, go. I realize looking up houseflies literally doesn't matter. Like, fuck it. Yeah, Avidal has a weird obsession with insects. Fine. Fuck it. Like, that's what makes it work, and that... That photograph was good enough to be able to pull out a, a fucking insect in extreme darkness. I can't even take a good picture of my cat with my phone. My cats are both black, just as an aside. Uh, the, the blacks get blown out on my phone because it just doesn't have that depth. Old photographs back in the day, like 1980s, did not have that range. In fact, a lot of them were based around trying to take pictures of, like, furniture, and that gave, like, the weird aesthetic that old Polaroids have. And meant that blacks just got completely, like, destroyed in the, the color process. What the fuck is happening? I was talking about photographs for a minute, and then something is happening. I'll talk more about photographs in a minute. Dio should really, at this point, be ready to just deal with the Joestar family. Like, immediately go and wreck them. Like, I get why he's got an issue with them in this season. Because they they tried to murder him. And were pretty successful at it. Almost twice. Um, I, I'd hold a grudge if someone tried to murder me twice. And almost did it. Like, I'd be pretty pissed about that. To be honest, like, I like to think that I'm a, a pretty big man when it comes down to stuff, you know, forgive and forget and all that jazz. But I feel like someone trying to murder me, I'm going to be like, nah. Just start punching the seats. Fuck it. <laughs> anyway, about photographs. Um, yeah, back in the day, they didn't really, like... The intention was to make them so that way they could take pictures of... Pretty much just, like, people sitting on furniture like wooden furniture to make the wood furniture look nice but you know being that it was back in the day by people we pretty much just mean white people and so it really just did not allow you to like get full color contrast there's a really good um explanation on this on um god i think it's art assignment it's a cool channel on youtube um and just like the uh, incidental problem with the way photographs works. My point is that they couldn't have picked out a fly on the wall. Like, it would not have been in the final product for him to be able to scope out. Like, it would have been blown out completely. Because they, they weren't designed to be able to pick up that range of color. This is me being an art nerd for a minute, so shut up. But again... The logic of, like, that even if that were a thing where Avidal or the, the guy could see the thing and then draw it perfectly and then Avidal saw it. Like, there's a lot going on there that I feel like the fact that the photograph doesn't make any sense is not really the biggest issue there. This story is fiction, just so you know. A man is about to try and punch an insect on a plane. Is it, like, past the point where we can, uh... 
make snakes on a plane jokes? I feel like it is. I feel like it's been past that point for quite a while. I don't know who looks like an asshole here. Not any of those people. Uh-huh. So Avidal just is like the guy you come to when you have a stand? I need to get it, like, named? Sir, I need you to sit down. We're we're experiencing some turbulence. You need to sit down. Can I get you something to drink? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's like the least effective way of trying to kill a stand. Yeah, exactly. Nope, nope, no. It, it, it's literally the guy that's... Find the guy with the most outrageous, stupid outfit. It's him. Anyone got a stupid haircut? So, so why then? Wow, he's got really nice cursive. You're on a plane, don't. Okay, that was unnecessary. Also, why do you know how to do that? Also, he was an old man. He was about to faint anyway. You just did that. You tapped him in the back of the neck, and then he fainted, and you made it seem like it was your thing that you did. So that way you'd look cool in front of your friends. I understand, but like... Don't assault old people? Unless if they deserve it. Yeah, you're gonna put holes in the plane? Stop- Oh my god, why are you all dumb? You're gonna depressurize the plane. Where are those bullets headed?
So I guess you have to be nearby in order to use your stand. That's, like, established, right? So how the fuck is this guy, like, getting away with, like, killing people on planes? Like, I guess he fucks it up and then jumps out? It'll... It'll not be explained. I was gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say it was, but... Okay. Oh. Okay. I was going to say Dr. Wiley there seemed a little suspicious, but all right. Why aren't you ugly, then? Yeah, when you land, this is gonna be really confusing. Also, everyone's gonna wake up in, like, five seconds and be like, What the shit? Why is Massacre written on the wall in blood? Like, you're gonna have to clean that up. Where are the flight attendants? Who's flying the plane? Why is everyone still asleep? What is going on? Wait, so the stand user walked over, he was like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, then he touched the wall, and he's like, wait, this is blood, oh no! Are all stand users like this? Like, dramatic? He's a teenager, you guys are creeping. Well, he knows how to fly a plane, apparently, because that was, like, the whole point of the... the... You know how to fly a plane, though! You flew a, a fucking World War II plane, like, 20, 30 years ago or whatever. Did y'all not make sure he was dead? But, but he can fly the plane, right? Did it say that the- I know it said it fucked up the autopilot, but did it say it fucked up the controls too? Because he knows how to fly planes. God, I hope I miss that and everyone gets mad at me for it. That's my favorite. So that happened. Yes, you! You know how to fly a plane! Fuck off! Yeah, yeah, actually, it is your third time. And you actually were in a crash landing. Yeah, every single time you've crash landed a plane. Fucking do it, launch pad. You got this. <sighs> oh. 
I don't know what those metrics are. I love it when animes give you metrics like that. They're fun. Hot cola? What the fuck? Thank you for the tourism guide. Right? Yeah! Who the fuck drinks... To... Should I go, like, start up my teapot and put some soda in it? Fuck off with that. I get it's probably a regional thing, or this guy's a shyster, but I'm not... I don't know. We all know the stakes have it all. Thank you. Well, you know, it was also crash landing, apparently. Not I, I'm going to have to go back and watch and figure out why it was crash landing and why they didn't just fly it all the way. I mean, I know it's hard to fly a plane. That was a work of fiction? That that was a book that was a work of fiction. Yeah, it'd be really weird if there was another stand user here. Just look for anyone who's got a weird outfit and is just jacked. Those are usually signs. Okay, I'll keep that in mind next time. I wonder if he's a stand user. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's going to punch him or something stupid like that.
You don't know what any of this is, do you? Did you just order random things? Everyone low-key hates him right now, but they can't argue with him. The night star in the sky. I, I love stargazing. Fun carrot shapes. That's how he introduced his ability to kick their ass. <laughs> Fuck, what if they went to like a kid's restaurant and they had like, I don't know, Pancakes cut like dinosaurs. You know who else likes dinosaurs? My friend Dio. What? Okay. That uh, fuck off. That's stupid. Again, fine. Fine. Whatever. Fine. Fine. It's not fine. I'm upset about how stupid that was, but fine. I guess I had to wait on having the outro song be this, because otherwise it would be really, like, kind of spoilery that they're going to Egypt, wouldn't it? This is a good song. It's very 80s. It's like 10 minutes long or some bullshit. And it's one of those songs where it's just like, calm down. What? That left arm isn't a right arm? What? <sighs> Alright, well... I guess I'll see you uh, next time. Y you know, tu Tuesdays and, and, and Fridays, that's the schedule, if you're not aware. I'll see you then.